Hi, I'm Corinne. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time here, which it probably is because I only have one other video up at the moment. Um, but yeah, this is my channel, Salty Shreds. I am a, <laughs> as of right now, a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app. <clears throat> I apologize ahead of time if I'm clearing my throat a lot. I have this allergy thing going on, but um, anyway, let's get right into it. So I do a lot of following other people on Instagram and YouTube and blogs. I love following blogs. Not many people do blogs about reselling, which they should. Um, but one thing that I notice is I'm having a hard time finding people documenting their stories of how they transition from part-time to full-time. <clears throat> if they are a, you know, a full-time reseller. So that's actually what I'm going to start doing. So I am on a few reseller groups on Facebook. One of them is called the Reseller Society. And recently I posted a... A post just you know explaining my situation um, so I'm actually in the military if you can't tell um, and I potentially will be getting out very soon within the next couple of months so I I decided that what I really want to do with my life has a lot to do with side hustling and you know um, oh, I'm going to school for finance so I want to help you know, people and their small businesses. I want to help people with their personal finances. That's what I'm passionate about. So reselling is a great way for me to, you know, document that on my blog. Also earn an income while I'm getting my degree. It's just something that I'm really passionate about. And um, right now on the Poshmark app, I am, if I work really, really hard throughout the week, I can, or well, throughout the month, I can earn about um, close to $1,000, and that's not including how much I paid for the items. So for me personally, I do most of my sourcing at the Goodwill outlets, so I don't spend a lot of money on inventory. Um, maybe a dollar a piece, probably less most of the time, depending on how many things you know I come home and find are damaged that can't be repaired or whatever. So um, I have a pretty good uh, return of investment on the items I sell, which is pretty awesome. Um, however, being in the military full time, I don't have a lot of time to put into it. Um, the only reason I'm home today is because I've actually been waiting on a phone call from my doctor and now it's about two o'clock and I still haven't heard back from my doctor. So that was kind of a day wasted. And um, I'm probably going to get in trouble. I really hope I don't. But you know what? That's the main reason that I personally am ready to get out of the military. So I've been in the military since I was 17. That was 12 years ago. Um, or more. Wow. I joined in 2006. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And I started off in the band, which was really cool. Um, I played bassoon and piccolo and flute. So I've kind of been a band nerd my whole life. Initially, when I graduated high school, I wanted to go to school for music. Um, music was what I thought I wanted to do, but after being a professional musician in the, at the time, the Army National Guard, I kind of realized that, you know, it was fun to do it once a month, but <clears throat> it's not something I could have seen myself doing every day for the rest of my life. So I started to explore other options. I started to go to school and I changed my major several times and I couldn't really find, <clears throat> my gosh, I'm so sorry. I couldn't really find something that I wanted to do. But during my free time, I always was selling things on eBay <clears throat> or, you know, I was um, selling things on Facebook Marketplace and I found out I was making some pretty decent money. So that became something that I would rely on um, on my off weeks and my off weekends when I didn't have army stuff to do because I still needed to make up that income somehow. So in 2016, I actually went active duty as a linguist, which was pretty cool. Um, you know, speaking another language is pretty awesome. The army taught me the language. I spent <clears throat> about two years learning the language and, you know, learning my job and 
now that I'm here doing my job, you know, a lot of people tell me it's such a cool thing that you're doing and, you know, it's so important. And while it is, I just, it's not, it's not me, you know, this lifestyle is not for me anymore. Um, I'm 30 now, I have two kids and, you know, we're building a house, so I'm just ready to settle. I want to be a mom. I, it's something I've always wanted to do. And I never really had the chance to do it. Um, you know, I want to have the energy to help my kids with their homework and take them to games if they ever decide to join any sports. You know, I want to be a big part of their life. And right now in the military, I feel like I have so much anxiety, constantly wondering if somebody's watching me or, you know... Um, if they're going to text me and say, hey, you need to come in, and it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, I know that probably sounds a little paranoid of me, but, you know, I did it. I did it for years, and uh, it's time for me to move on. So anyway, I am really hoping that within the next couple of months, I can boost my Poshmark sales enough that I can justify signing the paperwork, and getting out. Luckily, um, my husband has a pretty decent job, so we won't be without anything. But we are, well, like, we're building a house, so um, I'm going to need to make at least $4,000 a month, at the minimum. Um, so right now, I'm rocking about a little over 200 items on my Poshmark um, closet, so I think if I can start by tripling that, I should be able to get close. And I'm really hoping that <clears throat> within the next couple of months, I'll be able to have at least $4,000 of income. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be after expenses because like I said, I really don't pay much for my items. So here's an example. If I go to the the Goodwill outlet and I find um well here let me find one of these things I found I have a death pile on the floor pretty much like everybody else um I don't know how much these sell for but this is uh Timberland I found this coat and I washed it and um it's in excellent condition I still have to look up the cops but let's just say um based on the weight Let's say I paid a dollar for it, okay? So if I paid a dollar for that coat and sold it for 60, let's just say 60. I don't know how much it goes for yet. Don't yell at me. Say I sell it for $60. Um, that's a huge profit, even after Poshmark fees. You know, um, Poshmark does have a pretty steep fee, but I think from where I'm sourcing my items, I think I can justify it. Uh, so yeah. It's pretty safe to say that while I do keep track of my expenses, I have an Excel spreadsheet that my awesome husband made for me. Um, I keep track of my expenses and then as I sell things, I put them in so I can see how much um, like actual profit I'm making. So with that, you know, I think it's doable. Um, it is definitely going to be a learning curve because now I'm starting to branch out into other um, like genres of items like, um, okay, here, this, this Dooney and Burke little thing. I don't even know if it's real. I'm hoping it's real because I looked up other ones on Poshmark um, and it looks just like it, uh, you know, but I found it at the Goodwill outlet, so I probably paid a quarter for it, you know. Um, I'm starting to branch out into other things to justify everything. Look, here's another one. I found a, the sack, sack bag. I started selling bags. And as soon as I started listing the bags, I started selling them. So, um, I'm really happy that I'm starting to branch out because I think it, it's going to make things easier for my transition. And, um... I guess really the goal is to make enough to get my husband's blessing. Um, he's a little bit 
reserved on the whole thing because you know he's prior service army and he he understands the you know the health benefits we get tricare and school benefits i don't have to pay for school right now but if i get out i have to pay for school yeah it's a lot to think about but in the end i think being happy is what's most important um i think my health will drastically increase because my anxiety is just through the roof and I think that I think this is going to be good for me so if you are a full-time reseller I would love to hear how you did it I'd love to hear you know financials if you're willing to share them with me tips you know tricks and please let me know if you'd like to continue to hear more about you know, my switch from part-time to full-time reselling, going from active duty military to 100% civilian. <laughs> Let me know if you'd like to see more. And yeah, I guess that's it. And yeah, here I am. Make sure you subscribe. Then you'll see when I have uh, new videos up and you can creep on my life if you're so inclined. All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.